Hi, welcome to My Lady's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm making today is a turkey meatloaf with tomatoes. This recipe today is just a little recipe I put together that me and Raymond enjoys having just a change on ground beef. But it's very tasty, a few simple ingredients. I'm going to show you them as we go. If this interests you, stick around and let's get started. So what I got here is two pounds of uh, ground turkey. And you can get this at your, your grocery store in the frozen sections. They come in, in a nice little container like this. But you can also ask your butcher. We're going to be using just a few simple ingredients. Again, I'll show you them as we go. We're going to be using some um, oats here. Um, you could use uh, grated um, stale breadcrumbs. And I'm going to be using about uh, half a cup to a cup of that. And then the rest I'm going to show you as we go. So pretty much all you need to do is uh, have your, your uh, ground turkey ready to go. Just cut the tip off like this and just pinch it down into your bowl. Now today I'm going to be using my mixer just to blend this together and then we'll show you the ingredients as we go. So then toss in one teaspoonful of black or white pepper, half a teaspoonful of sea salt or salt of choice. I got one teaspoonful of savory. This is our uh, savory here in Newfoundland and Labrador, but you can get summer savory. If you can't get access to it, just use uh, a sage. Um, this is a grated medium onion. You can have it chopped if you wish. Um, if you like it that way. Um, one tablespoonful of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me I've pronounced that wrong, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of um, tomato sauce, or uh, pasta sauce, or crushed, uh, crushed tomatoes, whatever you got available. I don't want you to go out searching for it. Now I'm gonna mix this together just a little. Now, I said between a half to um, a cup. I think this is three quarters of a cup of oats I got here, but you can use stale breadcrumbs. But the oats is also a nice change to just using breadcrumbs. And one large egg, and you toss that on in. I'm gonna mix all of that together. So that's all you need to do there. You could mix it with a wooden spoon if you want to, but I find with um, working with ground uh, turkey is a little soft, and you can also like and the same thing working with ground beef is the same thing. It's a little messy too, so that's all you need to do just to get it all blend together. Now let's show you what's next. So pretty much all you do then is just fold it together till you make sure all of those ingredients is combined together. And then we're gonna form it into a log um, and put into a uh, meatloaf pan or a bread pan. So this is a bread pan, but a meatloaf pan, I've got an insert. Or you can just use parchment paper like this, or you can use the parchment paper and your meatloaf sleeve. And that'll keep it from dripping out over and it'll also, well, protect your pan a little. So from burning, so you just toss all of that delicious meatloaf, turkey meatloaf, into the pan. So now you can flatten it out into this pan or you can just shape it like a little bit of a log um, so that it, it's, it's just shaped a little different for no no reason but it'll get the grease if there's any in there it'll go down to the sides and it'll fall to the bottom when you've got a meatloaf pan and if it's just um, the parchment paper it pretty much stays bubbling around that and that's all it does there so now what we're going to do 
I'm going to tell you how long you need to bake this for. So this is how easy it is to put together this turkey meatloaf. And turkey in this, uh, turkey anything is, is our favorite. But um, using the roll oats, you could use that or use the breadcrumbs. Totally up to you. Now these ingredients that we got here is sliced tomatoes, some shredded cheese. We got some fresh basil chopped. You can also use dried or ground. Um, that goes on the last 10 minutes of baking our turkey meatloaf. And if you want to prep this turkey meatloaf the night before, you can put it in the oven then when you come home from work and then there's no fuss. But put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for 45 to 50 minutes, then take it out. I'll show you when I top it with these and then we'll put it back for another 10 minutes. So we'll do that and I'll show you then. Our turkey meatloaf is almost baked. We got to now add in a couple of more ingredients. Now let me show you what that is. Just look at this delicious meatloaf. This turkey meatloaf is so tasty. But today what we're going to do is top over one cup of shredded cheese. So you use the cheese that you love eating. And then we're going to top it with some tomato, sliced tomato. And just put it evenly over like that and then dress it with some of that fresh basil and if you want to you can even top it with some dry. Now we're going to put it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes just to melt and get nice and brown or even just melt. Our turkey meatloaf with tomatoes is baked. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now just look at this delicious turkey meatloaf. Well, I'm just going to clear the sides here just a little because I want to pull it out of this pan. When you take it out of the oven, just let it rest for probably about five to ten minutes just for the meatloaf to, uh, to not cool, but just set for a little bit. And there's always a little, a little piece of cheese or something that sticks there, right? Mm -hmm. And this is it. Oh my. Just look. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to cut into this ramen. I'm sure. Isn't this tastes nice? just as good as it looks. You know, sure. right? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to move that paper and put it here over to the side. Now just look at this. I mean, this delicious turkey meatloaf. I'm so excited. I'm going to cut into this now. I let it rest for just about five minutes. I can't wait any longer, Raymond. I know our viewers can't wait, and Raymond's nibbling on the <laughs> extra cheese. So let's I'm get. It. I'm trying not to let you know that I'm yeah, sampling I a little yeah, sample. Yeah, there, well, yeah. you get out of there now. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to cut into this right now. <laughs> yes, I know that. I. It's difficult for either one of us to not um, want to just dive right into these delicious meatloaves, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Well, hang on. This turkey meatloaf is just too good. Just look how delicious. And having the tomato and the fresh basil, but even the dry basil is so good. Let's so put a piece on my plate here. And oh my gosh, just look. How delicious looking. Yes, yeah, too good to look at. I'm gonna have a taste here now and I'm going to share that with you. Now, of course, I'm not even gonna tell you how to serve this. You can sit down with this tasty turkey meatloaf with all of those tomatoes and just enjoy. You can serve this cold, you can serve it hot, you can serve it with gravy, pasta sauce, whatever way you want to do it. But right here today, I'm just going to cut off a small piece. As you can see, I got that, that cheese there and have this taste. Oh my gosh. Okay, drop the fork. Delicious. Drop the fork, delicious, Raymond. Yeah. I know you've been picking at the uh, cheese. <laughs> mm. The taste of all of those flavors in there, of course, having the turkey opposed to ground beef. We love all meatloaf. And the taste of that basil and the flavor of the tomato gone through there, yum. 
I can't wait for you to make this. Even, even the taste of that turkey mixed in with the, the loaf, like uh, it, that turkey, it, it's fantastic. Oh, it is, it is. And having the cheese over and that juice dripping right over. Yeah. Yum. Two thumbs up. Can't wait for you to make it. So of course we're going to leave this recipe here with you um, and under this video is either an arrow pointing down or see more. If you can't find it there, send me a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com or visit us on our Facebook page or our website www.bonitaskitchen.com. And also don't forget to leave us a message telling us what you think of this recipe here today. And if you made this turkey meatloaf before, uh, what uh, your uh, spin is on it, what seasonings and spices you like using. And of course, if you like this recipe and you've made it, leave us a message telling us what you think of ours. We so appreciate each and every one of you doing that. Thank and you. something else, Bonita, just in case they take a little photo, when I say snap, yeah, uh, a food picture. what they've made yeah. and sends it in. Send it to my email, yeah. bonitakitchen at gmail.com or share it on our, on our Facebook page. Uh, we love to see it, like send me an inbox message because we share each month uh, food photos of our viewers uh, that have made recipes over the of the past while and uh, we like sharing it with all of our viewers so they can see um, your pictures as well. So we're going to get going now and have some of this turkey meatloaf with tomatoes and, and probably some homemade bread with it. And so we won't take any more of your time. We know it's precious. We thank each and every one of you for spending a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond and our team, and from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, mm. a journey in culinary, always an open door. Benita's Kitchen to yours, Benita's Kitchen, Benita's Kitchen.